Hi everybody, good afternoon, how are you? So when I saw the piggy, and I saw it was coming in a uh, light purplish anno, I was like, hell yeah. So today, <laughs> we're building the, the purple piggy. You can hide money in it and call it a piggy bank. Wait a goddamn second, that's genius. So if you hit exclamation point build, you may see I do have polyfill on deck, just in case some of you all were complaining Mitchell's build sounded hollow. We'll see if that happens. It could. I have polyfill to give you like some idea of what it might sound like with, with foam or other like easily accessible, regularly used for keyboard filling ingredients because you guys said that would be helpful. So I've got it if we need it. Hopefully we're done. We are building it with these because it was the only acceptable choice. <laughs> um, I did film these. I don't think these need filming specifically. Um, I think generally speaking, they're perfectly fine without filming. We built this with them without filming, but I wanted to try them filmed. I knew it wouldn't cause any issues, um, but I, I just, that's that's my spiel. I feel dumb, just cause. So here is the booty of the case. There's the top. Here's the front. Top a little closer up. Now the top down camera should be color corrected to be as accurate as I can get it. Obviously it depends on your monitors as well. If you're seeing a different purple in the face cam, that's not accurate, just so you know. I'm trying to catch the light on this PVD for you. 24 old? Yeah, fucking ancient dude. I can't say sheesh anymore without it being ironic. I'm gonna have to start, how do you do fellow kidsing? All right. So these are all done. Let's go ahead and install them in the plate. So for those of you who don't know, I lube after installation. I've been just shoving a syringe up their ass and injecting it. And it's been very quick and surprisingly good. Uh, so I'm gonna keep on doing that uh, for now. The materials are cheap for artisans? Honey, no. <laughs> so I'm building this standard 60. Part of that is because I have exactly 60 lavenders. <laughs> I do have like, I think two spares, so technically 62, um, but I didn't want to like risk it. And I do have like Pinocas that we can sub in if something goes wrong, but I could probably not. Do you think polio make a big difference in sound? Absolutely. If you're worried about hollowness, I would consider going poly as it has less of resonance than something like uh, aluminum. It'll also, though, be higher pitch, generally speaking. So if you're looking for deep thock, maybe don't go poly. I'm lubing and filming switches for the first time, and everything has gone well for the most part. However, in some switches, I can hear the spring creaking inside as I press them. What can it be? Yeah, so that's spring crunch, probably, um, I'm assuming. Um, either crunch or ping, uh, depending. Creaking is kind of probably more crunch. But uh, you should lube it, and if lubing them doesn't help, uh, then try looping them better or swapping the springs. Some excellent switches have really terrible springs and some springs just are randomly inconsistent as well. It just really depends. Don't you need sing in bottom row for HHKB? Is this HHKB? Oh no, I didn't even realize I had gotten an HHKB top. Thank you. Let's pull this off now. Please convince me to stop hunting down a perfect husband. I'm right here. So I'm just making sure that these switches are nice and seated, especially with this having these flex cuts, uh, which are super nice to type on. They're kind of a pain in the ass to build on sometimes. Um, so you just want to make sure that your switches are fully seated or you could run into some weird looking or feeling boards. How many switches do you buy? Do you want to see? This many. That many switches. Just built my 7B last night and I finally reached endgame. <laughs> oh, give it six months. Um, I'm aware, uh, and Jackie told me, there are scuffs on the bottom of this. That's okay. That's not production quality. Like if you buy a board, that will not happen to yours. This is a prototype. And so like, that's one of the things that sometimes happens with protos that doesn't happen with production units. So if you see scuffs, understand that that is not acceptable for like a production unit that will not happen. It's literally just because this is a prototype. Who's Jackie? I hear the name quite often. Jackie is the runner and I believe the designer of the Piggy 60, the S7 elephant on the Bear 65. Are we concerned about the finish rubbing off after a long time usage of Anno? No, not really. 
Anodization can take quite the beating. Obviously, I guess it like depends on you and like, I don't know, the pH of your hand and if you have hyperhidrosis or not and other factors, obviously. But I don't think it'd be too much of a worry. And if it does eventually happen, if you use your board for 30 years and eventually the anode does rub off, good news is you can just get it seracoded, so. What if I rub it a lot before bed? Does plate material make a really significant difference in typing experience? Yes, and sound, depending on the plate material. Obviously, if it's brass, it'll feel like typing on a brick versus like poly, assuming the mounting method allows for flex, which it basically has to, um, it will, will feel a lot more flexible, you know? And then furthermore, if there's flex cuts in that poly or if it's gasket mounted properly, then it'll be even more flexible. So yeah, it makes a huge difference. Do you prefer to solder rather than hot swaps? So the issue with hot swaps is they do eventually wear out. They do have a shelf life. It's a really long shelf life. It should last you decently long. And with kale hot swap sockets, you know, it's, it's an even longer shelf life because even the shelf life they have, you can extend by just bending the pins back. You can't do that with Milmag sockets, but with kale hot swap sockets, you can't. Um, but that being said, um, hot swap sounds slightly worse. It's a little bit more higher pitched. Um, that's why I prefer solder because solder is more deep sounding in my experience. If a Milmax sockets becomes loose, can't you just solder a switch inside the Milmax socket? I'm just double checking everything, making sure everything's good to go before we pop it in the board. I want to make sure that, you know, as kind of weird I am today that I'm not fucking anything up. All right, so I'm gonna pop this in. I noticed when I was putting this together earlier that uh, the gasket kind of wants to get caught. So I'm gonna slot it in, if that makes sense. So I can make sure that that gasket's kind of, for lack of a better word, evenly distributed. <laughs> that position will do us. So I'm only partially screwing this in, but I'm going alternate corners to try and get an even compression. We'll go through and fully tighten everything down once everything's in. That way we don't have to worry about any warping. This looks tasty somehow. Excellent, and goal achieved. My uh, ultimate goal for every board I build for myself is to make it look edible, so. Oh God, I just hit my knee. My poor stupid knee. I used to be a keyboard builder like you. And I took an arrow in the knee. This is the um, Piggy 60 with a poly plate, lubed and filmed lavender switches um, with GMK Taro uh, and Duroc stabilizers lubed with 205 grade zero. How does it not sound hollow? It doesn't. Is there flex? There's tons. I would demonstrate again, Mr. Koopo, but there are side gaskets. And when I push down too hard on one of the sides, I have to like tuck those back in real quick. But yes, there's, you can see it, I think. Not that these types of flex tests show too much. There's a ton on the sides as well, but I don't want to fix those again. That's all right. I'll go get Ono. Ono is my boyfriend. He types very heavily. Uh, and loudly and quickly, so it's a different typing experience to me. Depending on how heavy you type or how lightly you type and a million other factors, sound tests can sound different. So people redeem Ono's t sound tests in order to get a different perspective on how the board might sound if somebody else was typing on it. Fire away.
that's not bad. <laughs> that's not, that's not bad. <laughs> that's I'm not sorry. Bad. <laughs> gonna sound hollow just because I'm mashing on it. Yeah, I know. <laughs> it's not very fair, is it? But like, <laughs> oh shit, sorry. What the My bad. Fuck was that? <laughs> but like, yeah, it's fine. It's great. Uh, bye guys. Bye bye Enjoy. now.